Hello there, this is Peggy Arvidson, and you're listening to Palmistry with Peggy. Actually, you're watching Palmistry with Peggy, aren't you? I am creating this video from my home in Alexandria, Virginia, right near the nation's capital. And today, I wanted to just spend uh, five minutes showing you the basics, very basic overview of fingerprint uh, types. These are uh, what we look at as hand analysts when we translate your life purpose, your life lesson, and your life school. Again, I'm going to stress for you that these are very four basic drawings. They're obviously drawn by not an artist, me, but I did have a lot of uh, fun drawing them for you. And it's for teaching purposes only. If you decide you want to learn to read hands um, in greater detail, you can certainly give me a call and we can talk and see if that's something that's valuable for you. But I get asked all the time, Peggy, how, uh, how do you translate these things? What are you looking for? What do you mean when you talk about higher ranking or lower ranking prints turn into life purpose and life lesson? Well, this is it. This is the basic overview and there's lots of variations. I teach people to do this over uh, weekend intensives and I also do eight weeks of private uh, phone training on it as well as um, groups. We do it over eight weeks on the phone and we pretty much look at documents like this but it's privatized and it's a small group so you can ask questions. We have it interactive. So we have on the top uh, left of the screen what we call a whorl. Now I really fine print there. Don't ruin your eyes trying to look at it. A whorl is a 4-0 ranking. That's the highest ranking. Read from one to four. And what you'll notice most importantly is that it looks like a target, okay? But you also see those little triangles on either side of the bottom of that hand-drawn target. Those are triradii. All whorls have two. In other words, it comes in and it goes out on different ends, and it forms those little tri triangles. Now, not all whorls are going to sit exactly in the center of the hand, and ex I mean exactly in the center of the fingerprint, they may be a little higher, they may be moved to the left, they may be moved to the right, but you, your telltale sign that you're looking for are those uh, two triradii on either side, okay? And then you know you have a whorl. There are some variations in whorls, but for our intents and purposes here today, I want you to focus on the fact that the whorl is your highest ranking print. You need three uh, whorls to qualify for the school of service. Uh, to be in that school. That's one of our schools. And you need four to definitely be in that school. So that means looking at all ten fingerprints on a person's hands, you would need a minimum of three to be in the school of service. And you need four to definitely qualify for the school of service. Okay? Now, the loops. Loops uh, come in and out and form a loop. Go figure. But they come in and out from the same side of the fingertip. Almost always, you'll see them come in and out from the side facing the pinky. Every once in a while, you'll see them in and out from the side facing the thumb. I don't want you to be thrown off if yours comes in and out facing the thumb. That's okay. But the uh, qualifying uh, information for this particular print is that it does not have two tray ra tri radii. It will have one where it uh, is on the bottom there on the bottom outside of the loop, if you will. But they must come in and out at the same place. It might look like a little bit of a target in the middle. That's OK. Uh, might have big space in between those prints looping through. But as long as they come in and out, look like they start and end at the same point, then we have a loop. Now, loops, you need to have um, seven or more to be in the school of love. Seven qualifies you. Eight puts you squarely in the school of love. Doesn't that sound like a great school? People are excited about that. It's all about making connections. And loops also represent the element of water. Okay? Now, tented arches, you can see it looks like an arch. Right? These arches in architecture. It's all over nature, right? Things come in arch. It looks like an arch with a pole stuck up the middle. So you can see my little drawing. It has that pole stuck up the middle. It's, uh, it will come in and out on opposite sides, but it doesn't form a target. Okay, it's less complex than the loop, certainly less complex than the world. Now, complexity doesn't mean that you're not as smart or what have you, just as far as 
our translation purposes go. And you need two or more to be in the School of Wisdom. Okay? I'm sorry, you need, yep, two to be in the School of Wisdom. Okay? Now, the arch, these people that have a lot of arches on their hands may say to me something like, Peggy, you're not going to be able to even read my fingerprints. It's hard to see what I have. It's because they have arches. They make like waves going across the um, finger. Isn't that cool? Now, there's lots of variations in all of these types, but an arch comes in on one side, goes out on the other side, and has like a slight arch. Doesn't have a stick sticking up the middle, so it's not a tented arch, it's just an arch. You may see variations. Again, we are all human. We don't look like the drawing that I have there. We're going to have variation on our fingerprints. The arch has a ranking of one, so it's our lowest ranking print. And two or more of these will put you squarely in the school of peace. Pretty cool stuff. So that's our video on the basics, very basics, of uh, fingerprint. People ask me these questions all the time. I thought it'd be great to provide the video. Take care, everybody. If you want more information, you can find me at intuitiveevolution.com or you can email me at handanalystpro at comcast.net or feel free to follow me on Twitter at PegKD. P-E-G-K-D. Thanks, everybody. Take care.